Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following. Proof secant theta equals to sine two theta divided by sine theta minus cosine two theta divided by cosine theta. Now before I start again, it's understood that there are brackets around the double angle, but just in case, I'm gonna put it right there. Now step one, you start with the more difficult side. And again, you can start with the left, you can start with the right, they both work. But in general, I'm gonna say the right-hand side looks more difficult and I'll put this in quotations relative to the other side. So step one, copy the right-hand side. Step two, begin with the end in mind. Your goal is to express this in terms of secant theta. So in your mind, you're thinking, well, secant theta, that's gonna be one divided by cosine theta. That's my end goal. So step two is to rewrite this in such a way that I can get closer to the final answer. So what I'm gonna do is this, I'm gonna copy the first fraction, except when I think about the double angle formula for sine two theta, that's gonna be two sine theta, cosine theta, minus. Now this is most likely the most difficult part of the entire proof. When you think about cosine two theta, there are three choices. There's cosine square theta minus sine square theta, there's one minus two sine square theta, and of course there's two cos square theta minus one. So the question becomes, which one am I gonna use to help me get closer to what I'm looking for? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross this out so you can see why you can begin with the end in mind. So again, when you think about the first fraction, that's gonna be two cosine theta divided by one. Now in my mind, I'm already thinking, well, I gotta combine this as one fraction. And to combine this as one fraction, I need a common denominator of cosine theta. So what I'm really doing is this. I'm multiplying the first fraction by cosine theta divided by cosine theta. So I'm gonna put a square here and put another cosine theta just like that. Why am I doing this? Because I'm planning to combine them as a fraction. Now again, you begin with the end in mind. Because I'm looking for secant theta, I'm really looking for one divided by cosine theta. So here's what I'm gonna do next. I will select two cos square theta minus one instead of the other two. Why is that? Do you see what I'm seeing here? This is two cos square theta minus two cos square theta. That's gonna become zero. And that negative, this negative one will become positive one when you divide that by cosine. That's gonna be the left hand side. So again, in case you're not connected yet, write this down. This is two cosine square theta divided by cosine theta minus, put this in brackets, two cos square theta minus one divided by cosine theta. Now I combine them. The common denominator is gonna be cosine theta. If I look at the numerator and expand this, and again, you can draw the arrows. You take the negative one and you're multiplying it with two cos square theta and negative one times negative one is positive one. Again, look what happens. This will become zero. And as expected, since we're beginning with the n in mind, one divided by cosine theta equals to secant theta, which is exactly the same as the left-hand side. Let's zoom out so you can see. Just like that. I hope this makes sense.